Good afternoon. I am here to help navigate you through Buzz and the assignments you need to be completing for Unit 7. If you have not opened your classroom yet, of course, click on My Classroom icon. Here you will see a to-do list. If you don't want to navigate that way, close it, and you can see now the folders I have available for you. Right now, you should be in Unit 7 folder. If you clicked on it, it will open up a nice window over here for you to navigate down through your assignments as needed. You also have the same panel right over here where you can see it, what grades you have and whether or not it's a red or a green grade. Remember the goal is to have all green grades. Let's talk about the major project in this unit which is the You Become project. You will find resources, websites, links, everything you need in this folder. Click on it and it will open up. Okay, now that you're in the folder, there's two, well three buttons and one plus sign. To select an activity, you are going to want to click on the plus sign. In here, you have six choices. Remember, you do not have to stick with one civilization. You can be an Aztec, a Mayan, or an Incan. What you do with the information then becomes important. For example, meal time. As I mentioned, you will have access to resources. This one does not come with a lot of resources. However, if I go back to list and I look at architecture or arts and crafts or math, I have started to develop more links. You do not have to stick within one choice and those links only you can use the links to the websites I found from any of the choices for your given topic. I just have organized some more than others. Okay let's say we want to do an architecture and that is generally the 3D dimensional pyramid. Many people like to do that. A wall because the Incans built amazing walls or you're doing another form of a bridge or structure like that. If you want to do that choice, you're going to click down here on the bottom right hand corner, choose. That was a choice you made. Okay, if I go back into my folder here, oh sorry, back up. If you look over here, there is this section here under the folder now the plus sign was our last one, however, now that I made a choice, it came out here. You can delete the choice if that was not the one you wanted to make. However, if you change your mind, you're not bound by the original decision. You can just keep it in this link and in your rubric, which you're going to open up from here, it looks like this. Sorry, this one, the You Become rubric, here is where you can change or modify as you need. What you need to do first when you open the rubric is go to File, Make a Copy. You will name it your name, and you could say You Become if you want or project or Aztec presentation just your name and of course rubric somewhere. You click yes. Okay now that we have your file open not the general one everybody else has access to not the template just yours you now are going to modify this document. Modify meaning you're going to put your name again 
what class period you have. Of course, for me, that's all, but not for you. You'd put first, second, third, whatever. If the highlight gets stuck on like it looked like it did, you go to the button and get rid of it. Or leave it, and I will take care of it. The civilization you chose, maybe Aztec. My project, ooh, school, nope, not school, sorry, I'll do education, requirements. Because as you know, the Aztecs were the ones that had educate or teaching as part of their education system. Okay, presentation date. This we'll talk about in a second. This one you choose to do a certain presentation date. I will show you how to find the sign up sheet as well as send the link out to everybody personally. Again, I will have another presentation on how to choose the date you want to present on. All right, was the project completed? I will fill in the rest of this. If for some reason you're not presenting on the 25th or the due date, you need to let me know and explain why via email or within this document somehow. Okay, let's go down to the next part that you are in control of doing. The rest of this is what you're graded on and the point value you get for each one. These questions here, that you see this part here, those are asked again down below because part of the requirement was you had to write a paragraph or two actually. So take a look at these questions. And let's come down and do this next section. And here's the directions and an outline format for you. You can read this paragraph slower on your own. You all have access to this document already. But in paragraph one, you're going to focus on the ancient culture. Paragraph two, you're going to focus on what you did to make the object. Okay? If you're stuck on how to make this first connection, that one you can ask me questions for guidance and I will help you. I've been given some great ideas that people want and I've been helping them as they ask it. So here you do your typical Okay, big idea. All kids required to attend. Okay, I've quickly finished filling in some of the examples from an outline section, okay? For example, I'm looking at the educational requirements of kids in the Aztec time frame. I found some facts and filled in my th details. Imagine if this has details put in. And again here. Then I went down to the next section and I just typed in a few things to help me remember what I did to make this model of the schools. I used cardboard, I used glue, paint, whatever else you need to completely use this, finish this up. Again, here's a good conclusion. One wonderful thing. Some of you guys are stressing over an outline format to speak from. Well, if I get rid of the template words and leave just the facts that you entered and a nice outline format, wouldn't that be a wonderful way to have notes for your presentation? Because you just said, here's my big idea, here is my detail that I'm going to talk about. Remember, with an outline, you do not have to say incomplete sentences because you're going to go and use the details that you found up here and put it down 
in this section as two separate paragraphs under the pink highlighted words. Yes, you see a wonderful work cited down here. Let me talk about that now. If you are doing some research and you found a website that is giving you information that you're going to use, some facts, some figures, some images, copy that page, put it into your template here, kind of in the rough draft section. Okay, let me get a couple of them in here and we'll show you what's going on. Remember, this URL up here, Google search, is not a credible link as a website or web works cited page. You need to actually find the website. So I'm gonna go here, paste it in my drop my project. Okay, let me get an image. Okay. Maybe I want this image specifically. Two things. One, I can copy the image and paste it into my document because that is part of my rough draft or my work in progress information. And of course, you should copy the images URL. Okay, so I've done my research. I found an image I'm basing my model on. Um, maybe I put this down as a structure. Maybe I just do a drawing of this kind. But it's part of my lesson to you. And I wrote my two paragraphs down here. Here's a wonderful thing I'm going to teach you now how to do a simple and yet effective work cited in MLA format. One, come up here to the add-ons button. Right up here above the font type. Add-ons. Click it. You will not have these up here yet, but you're going to click Get Add-on. In that section, you need to find or it should actually be one of the top ones for you because you haven't added it yet, the easy bib. You are going to add it by clicking the free button, the plus sign and free. I've already added it, so I do not need to do it again. But yes, you're going to add it. Yes, you will allow accent to, or sorry, you'll allow access to it in your Google account, just like I'm doing right here for this example, allow, and then it becomes part of your add-ons list. All right, so I just did that. Okay, fine, perfect. Now I'm going to come back here and go into my add-ons and click Easy Bibliography Creator. Manage Bibliography. Okay, here's a good thing. One, you can actually have this active, and instead of doing a re, uh, the sites right here, you could just come over and insert it right away. Hit the search button. Your style is MLA, because that's what we, we do at the school comes down here, talks about the website that you it found, hit the select button. Now, as you see, it turned it into the MLA formatted for this assignment. You can do it again for the next one. Website, make sure it's clicked, and the URL. Hit the search button, Hold up that website. Remember when we were here? This website up here? There's the, the heading and everything. Yeah. 
Oops. Sorry, wrong click. All right. So, yes, I select that one as well. Okay, and now I put it here. Now, here's the really cool thing. I want to add bibliography to the document. Bibliography, works cited, there's the similar things. And if you come down here, look at what just happened. It put it at the bottom of your page, because it always should be at the last of your page. And now you have an MLA page. Okay, but I wanted to find another one. Maybe I wanted to put this one because it was part of my source of information. So hit search. It said another search results can be found. Why would it do that? Well, simple. We took the picture out of the page that's already sourced and we just took this JPEG version of it. So very simple for you. As you are doing research, you can, of course, find the data. If you like what you see and you're going to use the facts, you're going to copy it. Remember, you have to use the facts, not just say, I went to this website. Come back into your document, go to Easy Bib, hit search, and there you go. It added a new one, and if I hit Add Bibliography to Doc, down here, it added a whole new one, and it's alphabetized. So, honestly for me, if I am doing this, and I found facts, this is what I would do as a rough draft. And I would... I would write a little synopsis about each website that you found, what you found in it. That will easily be used for up here. So I'm using my section down here as a note-taking section. You don't have to get rid of it. You're not graded on it. But it's great to list the facts from that page that you would be using to explain your project. Again, the work cited is at the bottom. However, this area above your pink area is for your eyes only. Well, and the teachers. Okay, so that was creating and filling in your project rubric. You will now learn how to share and present. I'm going to make this on a new recording so that you don't have to fast forward to get to the new spot.